Hi guys! Okay, I have a new recipe I'm going to try, and this is called Tofu Popcorn Chicken. It's vegan and gluten-free, and I have a recipe that I made, I can't remember what I called it, but I created a batter for the tofu pieces and I deep fried it, sort of like a fish and chips, but uh, with tofu, and really, my, my daughter loves that. So this looks awesome, like a popcorn chicken, and I'm going to try that right now. Let me, and I found this re recipe on, um, the Veg website, right here, the Veg, look that up. And what do you need? You need a block of extra firm tofu. You need um, a third of a cup of chickpea or garbanzo flour, a quarter cup nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of wet mustard, any kind that you like, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, and you can try Cajun or lemon pepper for different flavors, a quart, half a teaspoon of pepper, a third to a half a cup of water, and two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil. So, I'm going to probably not make the entire recipe, but you guys can follow this recipe if you try it. I'm going to try to make this, uh, make it half. Uh, what I have here is my tofu, my fancy tofu press. Don't you like that, guys? I just have a cutting board over the tofu on a plate, pressing down on it, and uh, they say to, to do this for about 10 minutes, and I've done that probably like 10 or more minutes, and I have it hopefully as uh, pressed as I, <laughs> I can get it. And I'm going to get started. I'll so while your tofu is pressing, you can get your dry ingredients together. And that includes, like I said, a third of a cup of chickpea, or chickpea, otherwise known as garbanzo flour. I'm going to use less than that, so I'm not using not quite a quarter cup. You're also going to need to get your spices. Okay, well, actually, first, it's the nutritional yeast. So I think it says a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Okay, I'm going to say that's about an eighth of a cup, I suppose. Okay, now also your seasonings. Okay, now for your seasonings. I'm going to add, this is the uh, all-purpose seasoning, and I've also got something called Caribbean Roasted Spice. I'm going to add a little bit of that, about a quarter teaspoon uh, of that. And I've decided I want to add some garlic powder. So I'm also putting probably about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder into that. And now I'm going to add my salt and pepper, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my pepper and salt in there. So just about um, a quarter teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than that. Now because I'm making not quite the full amount that it says, and I might have to go back and, and make that, but we'll see. Um, it says to put a third to a half a cup of water, and I'm going to, to I've got a quarter cup so far, and it basically maybe I'll mix this all together first. Just to whisk as you go. And ultimately you want this to be the consistency of pancake batter. You're going to mix the water first, then add the mustard. And if it's, obviously if it's uh, not watery enough, you add more, which is why you should do it slowly, so I can definitely add more water. Okay, I'm going, going to get the um, mustard, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to put half a tablespoon of mustard, since I'm sort of making half of the recipe. I mean, you could probably still put the full tablespoon if you like. It's up to you in terms of the flavors you like. Now, I tried, guys, making um, a vegan omelet once with uh, chickpea flour, and I can't remember how it turned out. It wasn't so awesome. I wanted to try working on it a bit more to perfect it before posting the video to YouTube, and I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But um, the one thing I know that chickpea flour will thicken up as it sits. But this, to me, right here, seems pretty much like pancake batter. Smells good. Yeah, I think that's good. Once you have that done, and as it sits, if it thickens up, I will definitely add a little bit more water to it. But you're now going to break your tofu into crumble pieces. I mean, you can cut it into nice, even pieces if you like. But I like how it looked in the picture where it's not all uniform and even, and it's just more 
you know, sort of morsels that sort of looks more like... Oop, that one wasn't big enough. It's just for me and my daughter, so I'm not using the full pack of tofu that it calls for. I'm just using, like, half of the pack. I mean, I guess you can, you know, make them smaller, but I'm gonna leave them up, like, how about that? Okay, and now, once you have that done, you're gonna put the tofu into the coating. I'm gonna do that and just let that sit for a little bit and get my pan, the oil heating in the pan. My daughter's not fussy about like olive oil or coconut oil, so I'll probably just use regular oil to cook with, but you can feel free, as the recipe calls for, to use your use coconut oil or olive oil. If I had the uh, refined coconut oil, which I typically don't like to buy, you can't taste the coconut in that. So for a lot of people, that's more appealing for frying. They po possibly have more of the coating than I expected, actually. But uh, I'm coating this up, and I'm going to get started. Okay, so I have the stove on medium. I think I'll turn it a little lower. I just tested it with some water so you can make sure the oil is hot so why it's popping. And this is what, um, can you see that? It looks so bright. That's what the crumbles look like coated. Or the chunks, I should say. So you're just going to put it in the pan and fry. I might have to make more of these. <laughs> Suddenly it doesn't look like it's enough. I might have this with the salad or... Um, you know, this might be awesome to put in a wrap. You know, you make these and then you stick them in a wrap. So I'll see. Because I don't feel like making french fries or anything right now. I'm just... And this will be done before I could even make that. So, I'm going to start the frying up, guys, as you see. And I will be back. Okay, so this is what it looks like as it's frying. Looking really good. I'm liking the garbanzo flour. Might be a great option for, for frying and coating stuff. Seems to hold well. And I just realized... Well, that's if you want, because when I made my uh, vegan eggless McMuffin, the garbanzo flour might have been an awesome way to do it, so I could have actually probably added a little black salt if you wanted to give it a little bit of sort of that eggy, poultry-ish flavor. I was going to put some rosemary in here, but you know, it's the first time, and I'm sure these will be good, and I can't wait to try it and let you know. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to taste one little piece here. Obviously, you can have this with ketchup. You can have it with plum sauce, whatever sauce you like. Hmm. I like. You want to take a bite, Cole? No. You'll like it. It's good. This is actually quite delicious. Make this, guys. This is going to be a hit. I might have to make more. All right. Thanks for watching. Actually, the garbanzo flour, if I'm not wrong, it gives it almost like a sort of chicken flavor. I'm liking garbanzo flour a lot. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, seriously, guys. These are so delicious. Um, I, as I mentioned before, they'd probably be great in a wrap. Well, I don't know what it is with the garbanzo flour, the mustard. Like, there's something about it that really tastes very poultry-like. And it's delicious. This, I'm going to definitely try making this in a wrap. This is just wonderful. I love this recipe. And I think I'm going to start using garbanzo flour for more and more things. It's awesome. Definitely try it and let me know how you like it. My daughter found it a little salty for her taste. Now, I tend to like salty. I mean, I didn't think it was overly salty, but, you know, my salt meter is a little higher than other people's. So if you don't like the salt and you're going to put the allspice, which is probably a little salty to begin with, you can maybe cut down on the salt you add. Don't put that in. But I, I just love this as it is. Definitely going to put it in a wrap with some lettuce, tomatoes, and it's going to be great. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.